most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. It's happening. We are at peak color here across central Pennsylvania in terms of our fall foliage. Keep in mind, though, that leaf drop is happening quickly. So if you haven't gotten a chance to enjoy any of these fall colors, the next two days, so Tuesday, Wednesday, will offer more sunshine. Now tonight, a little bit more wind in the mix, and that could help knock down some of those leaves. But so far today, it's mostly about the scattered showers. They're rolling on through. Plus, this cool down heading into Halloween, so looking chillier for Halloween itself and the day after. But here's the good news. We get the rain today, but for most areas that have trick or treat moving into Tuesday, that is a better outlook. Visibility, we've actually gone down at a couple of our local sites. So again, this is visibility recorded in miles from our reporting site. So anything below about four miles, that's pretty low and likely seeing a lot of fog in those areas. In terms of rain totals, how about Marysville? I mentioned last night I thought a half inch was kind of pushing the potential of this rain. We did get there at least that that site Camp Hill, Elliottsburg at about a quarter of an inch of rain. That's more like it, but noticing what's happening on radar. I don't expect any heavy rain here for the rest of the day, just more persistent showers, and that's what we're getting currently over the midstate also to our north and northwest. It's hard to escape the damp air and the rain right now unless you go south and Baltimore DC in the 70s. Meanwhile, north of the state line, all of us locked in the 50s. So through this evening, I think these clouds, the showers, they're going to be stubborn. The winds do pick up and that'll help clear things out later tonight through tomorrow morning. So I don't expect a repeat of the fog heading into tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow morning fog free and it's really just today that we're dealing with it. We see our area of low pressure that's passing by, but a cool air mass, dry air mass on the western side of this that marks our weather pattern for the next couple of days. Let's show you precision cast looking ahead through tonight. Again, the blue begins to disappear. That's the opportunity for showers moving out of the region. Now heading into tomorrow, we get more clearing and notice all the sunshine here looking like a nice day, except keep in mind it'll be much cooler. That sunshine lasts until Wednesday, but not really much of a warm up until the end of the week and the weekend in terms of how much additional rain, just a couple hundredths of an inch. However, keep in mind it's just enough to keep the air damp tomorrow. Looks good for trick or treat temperatures about 44, maybe on the chillier side, but it's going to be dry for our local municipalities and great night to enjoy for a whole family. Looking at the seven day forecast temperatures, James, we drop down to the 40s for highs on Wednesday. We do rebound into the 60s for Friday and next weekend. Yeah, look, the weekend still looks nice. Weekend still looks nice, still tracking the potential showers by Sunday into the following okay. Monday, but that's down the road. As I always say, we'll worry about that as we get closer. I agree. All right, Dan, thank sure. you very much. We'll be right back.